I was a lucky child to be picked through a rigorous selection exercise to welcome President Moy to my home district, Nyeri, and specifically to the Kiganjo Police College. My duty at that tender age was to hand him flowers in our honored tradition of welcoming dignitaries home. That small encounter of a little girl presenting flowers to the President of the Republic became the beginning of a journey down a long road paved with incredible kindness, genuine human compassion and love. His Excellency President Moy immediately assumed the role of a father figure um, in my life and he took up the course of educating me by offering to pay my school fees throughout my schooling years. I still remember with deep nostalgia the very first day when I met His Excellency the President. As uh, soon as I handed him over the flowers, he invited me to breakfast and he treated me to some sumptuous boozy ribs that were extremely tender. During this king's breakfast, I was asked, what would you like me to do for you, little girl? And he asked, what would you like? Anything. I innocently responded that since he was the biggest person in the country, he should remove Kiswahili as a subject in my class. As a little girl, I had a good justification. I, I argued with the president that at home we spoke in Kikuyu and in school we spoke in English. Further on, I wrote all my exams in English and therefore I could not understand what the need of Kiswahili was. I thought a presidential decree against Kiswahili would be a masterstroke. The president smiled broadly and at, at my obvious childish request, and of course, I had to explain to my parents why I never thought of greater requests to the president, like the request of Akambogonda. Those who don't speak French, Mogonda is a parcel of land where I come from. As for my Kiswahili request, that was never granted, it became a central part of my academic progress assessments carried out by Baba Moy himself during my annual visits to State House, where he would ask, where he would start by asking me, Bado unacheza na masomo? It is that small encounter in Kiganjo that began a life transforming moment for the little girl from a little village called Nyarivo in Nyeri, who now stands in front of you having recently attained a doctorate degree to mourn a loving father, a faithful mentor, a devoted teacher, and a caring children's president. I celebrate President Moi for his proven, genuine, big heart that made possible my education and that of many other children across the Republic. I celebrate this extraordinary leader who consistently demonstrated his commitment to education, especially that of the girl child. And I stand here in front of you today as living proof that his noble efforts and his noble endeavors were never in vain. My Baba Moy, as I fondly called him, today rests in absolute peace, having in the sunset of his blessed life watched many of his children nurtured directly by him grow into effective citizens. He rests in peace knowing that that little village girl from Nyarivo pursued not only the highest limits of education, but also has chosen to live a life of public service as Deputy Governor of Nyeri County.